Are you just getting started with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript? Are you a curious person who wonders how you get elements onto an HTML web page? Or do you just need to pick up some new coding tricks? If you answered yes to any of those, you've come to the right place. My name is Peter, owner of Tilret Web Design, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add circles onto a web page. But I'm not just going to show you one way. I've got five different methods to do this. And these circles can serve as containers for other elements such as uh, text or images, or they can serve as simple standalone uh, decorative backgrounds. So with that introduction, let's get started. So I'll enter my code using the CodePen app available at CodePen.io. It's got different panels for the different uh, code types you'll be entering in. So we'll start on the left in our HTML. Just assign one div and give it the class name circle container. And that's all we have to do with that. Move over to our CSS. We'll just uh, style our body a little bit. Give it the width of 100 viewport width and 100 viewport height. Give it a background color of ivory so we can go see what's going on. And then with our circle class uh, container, what we'll do is we'll make that a square, a red square. So we'll give it width 200 pix, height 200 pix, and the, and the background color of red. And then just to move that into the center of the screen so we know what we're doing, we'll assign our body to display grid and place content into center. And then we're ready to go. Our first method utilizes the border radius property. So the square we just made in the middle of the screen all we have to do is change that with one line of code. Assign the border radius to 50% and you'll see the corners rounded off and that square turn into your first circle. Our second method is just as easy and utilizes the clip path property. When you clip something, anything outside that path is removed. So if we get rid of our code from our last example and make it back into a square, and then use the line clip path circle and then assign the radius of half the height and width, the corners will be clipped off, leaving our second example of a circle. So our third method involves adding the circle as an SVG image. And to do that, we go into our HTML code. So let's first get rid of our old CSS, move over to our HTML, and we add an SVG element. And to that, we give that a width of 200 and a height of 200. Then we can add a circle element within that and we assign the center using the CX and the CY values and then finally the radius which is also that same value. Then the final point is just to fill it in with red, close everything up and there's our SVG circle as our third example. Our fourth method is fun and utilizes the radial gradient property. So let's first go back here. We'll get rid of our SVG circle and get back to our container as a square, 200 by 200 square. Just to make it appear on the screen, we will give it a background color of red. But to make our circle, we're going to use background and then radial gradient. And we fill that in uh, starting from the center. So the center will make red starting at zero out to 100 pix, which is half the size of that square, and then just make the rest transparent. You overlap it from 100 pix to 200 pix, and there's your square as radial gradient. So our final method is the most difficult of the five and utilizes the canvas element. So to do this, let's just get rid of everything in our CSS and our uh, HTML and start fresh. So we uh, do this by putting in a canvas element. We give it an ID so we can refer to it later and then assign it a width and a height so we'll use those same sizes we used for the other examples of 200. Then you adjust this using a little JavaScript and that JavaScript can either go uh, into the JavaScript panel over there on the right or right in the HTML. So we're just going to give our example in the HTML. You do this by starting up, opening and closing a script tag. Then we type in the following, uh, our uh, variable uh, canvas, so we can detect that in the DOM uh, by using that ID. We assigned it my circle. And then we get our canvas ready using the line context uh, canvas get get context 2D. And then uh, we don't add a circle directly. We add it as an arc. So an arc is uh, in radians is two pi radians around. 
So we start from zero and go all the way around. So that's what that zero times math pi and zero times math pi uh, two, it gets the full circle around. Then we just give it a fill style, which is going to be red, and then we fill it. And there is our fifth red circle. A little more complicated, but that's how you do it. So I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.